Hi everybody, this is Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, coming back with another really short video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do a chainless double crochet foundation start. So as if you were going to create a chain, you're going to want a slip knot and place it on your hook. Now, the yarn I'm using and the hook I'm using is really irrelevant because this is for any project that requires a really long chain. And then you end up coming back across with double crochets and you want to avoid the chain section. But if you're curious, I am using Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin, I believe is the color of this one. Um, it's just got a scrap ball band that I put on it, so it really, <laughs> really doesn't um, have any information. It was just the end of something. So it's, a, it's an Aran or four weight. And I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I actually received this from one of my awesome viewers and supporters. She made this. Uh, her link is I Love to Crochet. I will put it down in the description box with hooks next to it. So anyway, she kind of did this in like some of my favorite colors, purple and teal. So let's get started. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to want to do is chain two. So we do have to chain, but that's it. So now we have two chains plus the loop on our hook. Now you're going to yarn over just like you would double crochet and you're going to double crochet into that very first chain down by your slip knot and remember everybody this is just how I have learned how to do it there's no right way no wrong way there's your way maybe this way is different that you've others that you've seen and this way works for you okay so I've pulled up a loop through my very first chain space there, or my very first chain. Now I'm just simply gonna double crochet. So yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through the last two. Okay, so now we wanna look at what we got here. We have where we just came from and then the bottom of that double crochet, which really would be the side of your first double crochet. Okay, so everything's kind of slanted of just a hair, just a little bit. So we have our first chain that we double crocheted in. If you Pull the bottom loop aside from your double crochet, you now have two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook through that second loop, the bottom of your cro double crochet that you made, and yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Okay? So essentially what you're using to go through once you have completed your double crochet is this loop here. So let's go slow and watch and see. So yarn over and go through two. Just like that. And now yarn over and go through the last two. So here's the last two, and here's the first two. That outside one is the loop that you're going to use next for your next double crochet. 
So we have one, two, and now we're gonna go with three here. Insert your hook through that loop. We're gonna go slow again. Three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we have three loops. Yarn over and go through two. That very bottom one right there is the one that you're going to use for your next double crochet. Yarn over and go through two more. So you can grab hold of that and pull it down. And that is the next loop that you're gonna use. So yarn over and insert your hook into that little loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And again, you have three loops on your hook. This one all the way at the bottom is your next loop for double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're just completing double crochets. Now pull down that bottom loop and now you have your next position. Yarn over, insert your hook into that little loop there you pulled down. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two more. And pull down that next loop. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. That loop is your next working loop after this double crochet. So yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two more. Pull that one down, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, Pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over and go through the last two. And here's your last loop. Okay, so let's look at this from a full view. Here's where we started with our chain two. We placed our next double crochet in this place, next one in this one, and so on and so forth across. So I'm gonna pull up a loop and we're gonna do some counting. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, if we go to the top, let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so hopefully this helped some understand the double crochet chainless foundation row a little bit better and uh, are able to follow along and make your own now that you have seen it done this way. If you have found this short tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the description box, please, if you know how to do it, if you do it differently, if you just learned how to do it, I would love to hear from you what's your take on this tutorial and how and when you learned. So until next time, everybody, be blessed and be a blessing. Bye, guys and gals.